Uh, hi, uh, Damon. I'm Matt Kutnick. I'm new. I just wanted to introduce myself. You work here? This doesn't sell it. Oh, I thought you might be doing a goth thing. How are you liking it? Uh, it's different. It's certainly not the job I thought I'd get, uh, but I like working outdoors and... Are you... you your uh, thing is out? Did you know that? <laughs> yeah! Taking a leak. <laughs> Take two steps back. I've got good flow, but bad aim. Uh, you think this is okay? It's the middle of the day. Lots of tourists around. You know, this is what the pilgrims themselves did. They didn't have indoor plumbing, so they'd walk away from the village and relieve themselves in the woods. What you're witnessing now is historically correct. Well, you know, that makes it uh, really a lot better. Uh, listen, <laughs> I was told to come talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You heard about the weed. I don't sell it because I consider myself, I consider it a pilgrim crop to be shared with the other villagers. So when the next harvest comes up, you'll get some, don't worry. You're growing weed here? behind the maintenance shed across from Master Lee's Dung Heap. Man, I don't know what that ox has been eating, but his poop makes for some serious reefer. I don't want any reefer. <coughs> really? Okay, maybe a little. Uh, look, here's the deal. Uh, I'm in trouble with Mr. Keneally, uh, and he'd like you to not sleep in your pilgrim house anymore. So if you could just stop doing that, that would really help me out uh, in terms of keeping my job. Where am I supposed to sleep? You don't have a real home? Well, Tim. Not even close to my name. I do have an apartment in town. I mean, I did until I stopped paying rent after the fire. There was a fire? <clears throat> Big one. How did it start? The usual way. Smoke first. Uh, no, I mean, what happened? <laughs> my lawyer. <laughs> he says I can't discuss that. Tim, are you going to be your own man or are you going to be Dick Keenley's dog sitting there on the rug at his feet? Matt. Okay, sitting there on the mat at his feet. Let me tell you something. A couple years back, I was an ER doctor down at St. Luke, St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital in New York City. Heard of it? The hospital or the city? <laughs> <laughs> Funny, Tim. I had this girlfriend. She was an American history buff and a bit of a freak. And by that, I mean she enjoyed having sex in places of historical significance. And I'm talking about very public, very noisy sex. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Let's just say I can never go back to Colonial Williamsburg. Or Grant's tomb, or the tomb of the unknown soldier. Yeah, that one I still feel bad about. But then we came here to Pilgrim Village, and I forgot about the sex, and her, and the outstanding warrants for public lewdness. Because I was home, Tim. Yeah, I found the one place on the planet where I truly belonged. I know who I am here, and I'm happy. Unlike so many people out there rushing to meaningless jobs or defending themselves against false claims of arson. Are you happy, Tim? Do you know who you are? I'm not, Tim. <laughs> so you don't know who you are? And here's what I'm saying, brother. Until you know who you are, don't ask me to change who I am. Stop by my place after hours. We'll talk some more and quaff the nut brown ale. Faulty hat plate. Ha, 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 ha.